there's a cool new way for us to be able to automatically change between scenes and do clever things of changing camera angles, make things appear, all of that stuff on a timed release. Let's show you in this video what we're talking about and see if this is something you need to be adding to your next live stream. Now, what am I talking about first of all? Well, we work in Ecamm in scenes and the ability to be able to change from one scene to the next. Maybe you wanna be able to you know, cut across between multiple camera angles. Maybe it's a top down and things like that. Maybe actually you want to be able to have something like a little subscribe animation appear down there but you don't want to have to keep remembering to click the button and do it we can show you how to do that and automate it now in the past you could do this by putting a hidden timer underneath it and making it transparent and it would go from scene to scene there's a cool new feature in here in the scenes tab where there's a folder and it says new automatic group and i couldn't get my head around to start with what it was meaning but uh, this is exactly it and uh, we can say to advance to the next scene or to a random scene after so many seconds. Let me just show you what happens here. If I drop into this folder, this front scene and this new scene, for instance, so we've got scene one and we've got scene two. Maybe we say every 10 seconds in here, we want it to jump between these two cameras. So I'm gonna hit play on that and away we go in uh, live and I'm talking away to the camera here and I'm not having to think about this, but uh, every 10 seconds, uh, <laughs> oh, there it is, <laughs> have me worried for a minute. Every 10 seconds without me doing anything is just gonna change the camera angle over. So this is one use of this. Maybe it would be that you had a frame or something or it changed and you went from a picture in picture. Lots of different reasons why you might want to do this. One that I think better than this really, rather than this is changing cameras if I come back and we set both scenes to be the same camera notice I was just playing down here with a little subscribe animation and um, maybe you're doing a live on YouTube and if you were making a video you'd probably have a little icon come up saying to subscribe but that isn't happening in your live that's different you're normally doing that in editing afterwards but if you wanted to do it as part of your live what you could do stop this going around for a minute first I will just delete that second scene in this scene here I can drop into the scene a I've got a little so, small subscribe animation if I turn those bits off it sits down there at the bottom of the corner I haven't actually used this yet I'm just playing with it and I'm quite excited so how do I get that to automatically come up uh, I, and what I need to do is to make sure that come the end of it I say when finished hide temporarily we're not going to have it looping or anything like that and then all I do is I clone this scene and I can now set the timer in here to say um, every what do we think five minutes so let's type in there 300 seconds and uh, you're not going to see it happen of course but every 300 seconds every five minutes this is going to go from this scene to this scene and when it does that's gonna pop up again so I think that's a really cool little move actually to be able to jump through I'm gonna take this back a minute to just five seconds or, or ten seconds so you can see what that's doing um, I reckon this is a great way to do a live stream and to be you know you carry on over here you can have other things coming up it doesn't just have to be a subscribe icon like this now that's one way of doing it and we this automation when we downloaded it it's already got this so it will come on and it disappears itself how would we do this inside of Ecamm we could actually go to our scene here let's turn this one off first of all and I'll turn it off in there as well what we can do is to do a similar thing here and uh, I've already made one and all I did was to in Ecamm here I've just I've turned off the background didn't want the background on in this case by all means do um, remember to subscribe in fact do you know what let's put the background in we'll go for a nice bright red there and I've said fly in from bottom or you could have fly in from right save that out we can use the guides just to tuck it in there but this will come in but it won't go off so when I go to another scene and come back it comes in that's really cool but it's going to stay there now until I go to the next scene what would be quite cool and maybe uh, this could be an, a new feature where at the minute I've got an option to change intervals in here uh, what would might be really good is can I actually change the interval on one scene and not another 
because the only way I can get this one to appear and disappear, it'll slide down again when I go to another scene or fade out. That would be fine, but it would mean I'd have to have it stay on for say five seconds and then go off for five seconds and then come back and go off. Or I need to maybe clone this one and make 10 scenes of that. I don't know. It would be quite good if this blank scene I could set to be five minutes and then I come back to the one that's got it included for, uh, I don't know, five, 10 seconds and then come back to this one for five minutes. That's what I would be doing. That's what we were just setting up with the other one. You can't quite do it here by just using text in Ecamm. The way to do that would be the way we were doing it before to actually have this as in each one. You could put a hidden timer underneath it and set it that within this, set a timer for 10 seconds. When it gets to the end, go to the next scene. Uh, and then in the next scene, you could put a hidden timer that was for five minutes that said go to next scene and they would loop around inside a folder anyway. That one's not quite there yet. If you've got a nice little animated overlay like this, uh, I think that's really cool. And definitely we're gonna be doing this in our future lives, seeing what else we can put in there. I just like the idea of this moving and going while I'm carrying on. Obviously it means if I were changing scenes around and I would go into different things and screen shares, that's not gonna to apply to it. It's only what I've got looping in this folder here. So what do you think? Is that gonna be a real upgrade to your lives now? Or can you see reasons why that might not work? Maybe you've had a go at it. Uh, let us know in the comments, I'd like to hear back from you. But I reckon that's a pretty cool feature for transitioning between scenes and looping through them. And in this case, definitely with a nice little animated overlay like that. So I hope you found that useful. Let us know, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in another video.